Hello? Who's there? How'd you get here, anyway? Went around the side, through a fence. <sighs> so I climbed into this haunted house for nothing. The gap in the fence wasn't so big. You would have got stuck. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Can you step on it? We'd like to get out of here sometime. Sure thing. Hold on. I'll be right there. Come on, we need a break here. Will you relax? I'm coming. is locked. What troubles you? Tell me. What is happening? Soon they will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? There is talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Josie. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about it. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver? The one now beating on our door? Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, if this ends badly, if you do not open up, you will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. 
that I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Where the hell have you been? You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not going to believe this, but... I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. John, too? To me, it looked like they were married. I know I can get arrested for bad taste in husbands, but god damn. Look like John and look like Angela were an item? Do not say another word, Missy. What kind of weird shit are we mixed up in here? Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? Let's take a look around, see what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. These small town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. Real nice. There's got to be something.
We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <clears throat> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. I'm thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Keep looking. Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. Is that? What do you think? Answer it. Wait. Let's think about this. Hello? Who is this? Who's on the line? I can't tell, but they sound in pretty bad shape. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night, and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Oh, now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time is gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against me.